John Kizi was born in the village of Umbumbulu in KwaZulu Natal. She was raised by a politically active family. Her parents, Sipo and Florence Mukizi, were ANC activists during apartheid. Her father was allegedly killed by a police officer in 1991 for apparent political reasons. The tragedy was followed a year later by the death of her brother, Zbum Kizi, when he was killed in a shootout with police in Isipingo. Sean graduated with a diploma in accounting from ML Sultan Technicon, now known as Durban University of Technology. Her career began in 1996 after she graduated with a diploma in accounting from Durban University of Technology. She went on to work in finance departments for numerous companies. However, due to lack of fulfillment in her job, she was inspired to go into business to create a better life for herself and her family. Her mother, Florence, was an ANC counselor in Etequini and died in 2008. Before her death, she had started a construction company named Zikulise Construction, which she handed over to Sean. Sean's inspiration was paid with her love for helping others and being a conduit for change. She started off with small projects from the local municipality, which included feeding schemes, painting, and construction work. Sean Kizi began her journey to greatness at a young age. She took the leadership of Zikulise Group after the death of her mother and slowly moved it to a multi-million rand asset. The Zikulise Group Umbrella Corporation also has a few companies under it, including Inyanga Security Services, which is a professional security company, the Zikulise Auto Recoveries, which is a 100% registered company established to employ and empower individuals, especially historically disadvantaged people, and Zikulise Maintenance and Transport. Sean would later meet Zboom Pisani at a party, and as a result, they ended up dating and later got married. Zboom Pisani was just a metro police constable at that time, but he later resigned from his job in the police force and joined his wife's construction business. As a result of the marriage, Sean changed her last name to Mpisani. Their son, Andile Mpisani, was born on March 15, 2001 in Durban, and Zbu already had a daughter named Zbachle Mpisani before he met Sean. In 1995, Sean bought a multi-million rand mansion in the suburb of La Lucia in Durban. Sean and Zbu Mpisani were not known to most people in the early 2000s until they made the headline for getting a multi-million rand tender overnight through a government contract they won. A huge part of their riches came through their company, Zikulise Group in the early 2000s, from building low-budget RDP houses on about 4,500 sites in Umlazi Infil, Wamgaga, and Umlazi B10 in Etekwini municipality. The couple is said to have also made millions through another multi-million rand contract from the KwaZulu Natal government. In their early days of their massive fortune, the couple used to host celebrity A-listers for an annual New Year's Eve party at their house in the early 2000s. In 2007, the Mpinsani family was said to have bought their neighbor's properties at around 2.9 million rand. They then demolished the houses and built an entertainment pad for their son Andile, where they spent approximately 2 million rand to do their work. They then adjoined the second property and converted it into a showroom just for their fleet of cars. The multi-million rand Sean Pinsani house has been the talk of town of Durban, suburb of La Lucia. The Pinsani mansion is guarded 24 hours, where security guards are posted everywhere within the property. Sean made headlines in 2012 when she tried to bribe a witness in a fraud case. Facing major tax evasion charges, Durban businesswoman and socialite Mabongi Flora Jr. Sean Impasani is also fighting another charge, allegedly interfering with a witness in the case. She's accused of trying to persuade a witness to alter evidence 11 days before her tax fraud trial. She had been having tax and tender fraud charges. 
In her rap sheet, she was facing 173 charges of fraud and forgery. Before the Finance and Procurement Committee, the companies were awarded 36 contracts between March and July relating to an Umlazi housing project. The contracts which her companies were awarded were as a result of an out-of-court settlement, but the details of these settlements were never made public because it was well understood that the agreement allowed her to continue with her projects. However, the charges were later on dropped. She's also been in a legal battle with the South African Revenue Service. SARS ran an investigation as to what Sean and her husband's boo owed the taxman. SARS officials said that the Mbinsanis owed the taxman a total of 141 million rand. Fortunate enough for Sean, she had a strong legal team that helped battle with SARS and the nightmare was over. In celebration of construction tycoon Sean Mbinsanis' legal victory. The state has withdrawn its tender for charges against her. And it's all because the National Prosecuting Authority couldn't submit a forensic report to Umbasane's lawyers on time. Although she says her rights were violated, she believes that her side of the story was finally heard. In 2014, Sean and her husband bought the Royal Eagles Football Club and moved it to KwaZulu Natal. The Mpinsanis are believed to have benefited financially from the club, even though the financial record of the team is yet to be publicized. After a decade and a half together, they divorced in 2019. Due to her divorce, she dropped her husband's surname and gone back to her father's last name, Nkizi. According to Sean, her marriage mostly collapsed because while she loved her husband, he also loved himself too much that she got lost in the mix. More so, there have also been claims of infidelity on the part of Zbu from his son. According to Andile in a very long Instagram post that appeared in two parts, he was aware that his father was not only cheating on his mother, but he also went as far as fathering four other children outside of his marriage. Although no further information was given in that regard, the young Gambinsani revealed that it was his mother's fortune that was used to take care of the family of his father outside. Sean also left the Royal Eagles football team she co-owned with Zboom Pinsani and bought Real Kings, which was playing in the second division, and renamed the team to Royal AM. It was after the divorce that she claimed that she had started to find herself again. In January 2020, Sean premiered her reality TV show, Guamam Kize, which aired on Mzanzi Magic and features her children's Bahle and Andile Mbinsani and her family at large. A few things that stood out from what viewers see on Guamam Kize is the huge mansion. After the house was seen on social media, it left people with their jaws on the floor, believing that it is big enough to be a five-star hotel. The second thing that stood out from the show was her Asian helper. For some reason, Twitter users were highly intrigued by the Asian helper, claiming that how often does one come across an Asian helper in a black household? The show was awarded Best Reality TV Show at the 2020 Hollywood American Prestigious Awards. In 2020, she was officially introduced to social media. In just under 8 months, she gained over 1 million followers on Instagram. Since then, her fans and followers have worshipped her and gave her the title of Mother of the Nation. In October 2020, she was nominated for Socialite of the Year and Fag Hag of the Year at the Feather Awards. Sean Kizi is considered to be an empowerment in the black business and gives back to her community in and around Guazulu Natal through charity and bursary schemes. In January 2020, she had the privilege to work closely with the Department of Sports, Arts and Culture and was given the honor of choosing a school she would love to donate to which she donated to Umlazi Comtec High School. She is also a feminist at heart and a catalyst for social change for the fight against gender-based violence against women and children as well as HIV and AIDS. To date, 
her philanthropic efforts have mainly been targeted at helping women and children in and around KwaZulu Natal. The 2020 Hollywood and African Prestigious Awards recognized her efforts and strides in both business and philanthropy and awarded her Woman of the Year Award. In April 2021, she collaborated with SABC One's Expressions and the Department of Correctional Services for labor to build houses for the underprivileged with the help of prison inmates.